What's up guys, it's me, Mr. Bradley, and today we're learning about buzzers, motors, and circuit symbols. Before we begin, please hit that subscribe button and get ready to try out the starter questions that I'm about to show you right now. In our previous circuit video, we learned how to add a light bulb to the circuit and how to turn it on and off. But we don't just use circuits to turn lights on and off. This little guy is called a motor. When I add the motor to the circuit, it will spin round and round. We can use these motors for things like electric drills, blenders, and spinning toys. This little guy is called a buzzer. And when I connect it to my circuit, it will make an annoying buzzing noise. If I add a switch, I can turn it on and off. Whew. Circuits with buzzers can be used to make alarms, timers, and even some kinds of toys. You know the one I'm talking about, that scary maze that when you touch the wire it buzzes and almost gives you a heart attack. Stay tuned until the end of the video and I will show you how to make one of these toys yourself at home. I think it's time to learn about drawing circuits. I promised I wouldn't sing. You know, I heard this crazy rumor going around that scientists aren't good at drawing. So I'm here to prove that wrong by drawing my own self-portrait. Here we go. Behold. Hmm. Oh, scientists aren't very good at drawing. So I'm going to have to make this a little bit easier for myself. And that's exactly why scientists use a thing called circuit symbols. They're quick, they're easy, and we know what they mean. Now pay super close attention as I show you how to draw the symbol of each part of the circuit. Here we go! All right, we're gonna have some fun drawing some circuit symbols here. Let's get started. First of all, the wires are pretty simple. All we do is draw a straight line. When drawing wires, you'll probably draw them in a circuit so we can continue them the whole way around, like so. So there you have it, there's my wires. I'll probably have a battery or something in here, but this is pretty much how you draw the wires. Next up, we got the battery. Battery's pretty simple, it's just two lines. Just make sure that you draw one of the lines bigger than the other. Make sure it doesn't actually touch it. And there's my battery. I'll just continue the wire over a little bit more, like that. Next up, we got the light bulb. Let's draw a circle that and then inside my circle I'm going to draw like an X or a multiplication sign there you have it the light bulb next up we got the switch there's two ways to do the switch draw my wire here and then leave a gap and draw my other wire put a dot here and here now if the switch is open I draw it like this see they're not touching there is a gap in the circuit but my switch can also be closed and if my switch is closed, there should be no gap. So here is how I draw a switch when it's open. This is how I draw a switch when it's closed. Next up, we're gonna draw a buzzer. It's just a semi-circle. And you wanna do two little lines down there at the bottom. Next, I'm gonna draw the motor. Just draw a circle. And all you're gonna do is draw an M in the middle. M for motor. Now here's what it can look like when I put a few of these things all together in a circuit. A circuit with a battery, a closed switch, a light bulb, a motor, and a buzzer connected by wires. And now, as promised, I'm going to show you how to make that cool buzz wire toy. To make this thing, I'm going to use some cardboard, these pliers, some scissors, this coat hanger, some batteries and wires, and of course, my buzzer. So I've cut out my cardboard and I'm going to use it as the base of my toy. The next thing I'm going to do is untwist my coat hanger using the pliers and then shape it into my maze. Okay, now my wire maze has been made. All I'm gonna do now is poke both ends of the wire through the cardboard to hold it in place. Okay, now that the wire maze has been made, the next step is to connect the buzzer. So this is how the toy will work. So here is the wire that I've twisted up into a maze. It's connected to another wire, which is then connected to the buzzer. This is then connected to a battery, and then finally goes along this other wire, which I've not connected yet. When I connect this wire to the maze, the buzzer will go off. All I need to do now is connect this wire to something to put through the maze. What I'm now going to do is attach my crocodile clip to this.
So now that it's finished, I'm just going to tidy up the wires and add a little bit of color. And there you have it, your very own Buzzwire game. Guess what time it is? Recap time! When we add a motor to a circuit, it spins round and round. They are used for drills, electric toothbrushes, blenders, and pretty much anything that's electrical and spins. When we add a buzzer to the circuit, it makes a buzzing noise. Buzzers are used in alarms, timers, and some kinds of toys. Circuit symbols are a quick and easy way of drawing parts of the circuit. Here are a few examples. And so we have reached the end of our video about buzzers, motors, and circuit symbols. If there is something you enjoy about this video, or you'd like to see something more in future videos, please put them in the comment section below. Don't you dare forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more cool and interesting educational videos. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.